YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with some truth in another video. Now, this story right here comes straight out of Portland, Oregon. Yeah, straight out of them. Now, we don't normally hear about Portland, Oregon on this channel, even though we might hear about them every now and then due to the fact it rains so much damn much in Portland. I don't know what that is about. But we have a guy and his mom. No, they're not going uh, Christmas shopping together. No, they're not on a picnic together. No, they're not reminiscing about old times. They're basically licking shots at each other, trying to take each other's head off. Now, why did this happen? I really don't know. But I'm going to read the story and I'm going to give my opinion as we go. Portland, Oregon. The details of what happened remain unclear at this time. But a Portland woman and her 36, yes, 36-year-old son were arrested Wednesday night after a shooting incident that resulted in two uninvolved vehicles being struck with multiple bullets and one person injured who was also the man arrested. Now, what can make a mom and a son start pulling out guns and shooting at each other? One, mom tired of them, living off of them, probably done threatened to kick his ass out so many times, or he just a very disrespectful child because notice there's no dad around because I'm sure if mom was going to shoot it out with your dad was going to shoot it out with her also, and uh, they both was going to tag team up on his ass right there because I don't think a man going to leave his wife out there to have a gunfight with, with their son. You know, I think he would at least join his wife. What do you think? But this is what happens right here because you can clearly see what this is. This big grown ass man, 36 year old man, yes, and you could be a 36 year old boy because guess what? Why are you and your mom into it? And his mom do not look like no crazy type of woman, whatever you all want to say. And no, I'm not simping, I'm not lacking, I'm not doing none of that shit right there. And we're going to tell the truth. And the truth is, is that most likely, nine times out of ten, now I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But from what I see and what I feel is that. This man basically was living off his mom, living up in his mom's house, didn't respect her, and probably didn't do a damn thing. She said, she said, wash the dishes. The dishes don't get washed till a week later. And she, like a lot of women, and I'm probably talking to some of you all right now who got these grown-ass kids living in your house. Yes, grown kids, what I said. Uh, you grow tired of them. And you know, after so many years of dealing with this shit, especially ever since he was probably young, because if he's doing this right now at his mom and they having shootouts, I'm pretty sure that he he been disrespectful from the jump. Think about that. Now, Seville Damar Caldwell, 36, was taken to the Multnomah County Jail on charges of recklessly endangering another person, discharging a firearm in the city, and felling in possession of a firearm. Now, he's a convicted felon. What are you doing with a firearm? You know, you and mom got that much tension when you got to sleep with your uh, hand on a Glock up under your pillow thinking mom going to kick in the door and, and hit you with that shotgun? I don't know what the hell going on. Now, he has since been released on bail. Caldwell's mother, Altrina Renee Wilson, 53, sound like a woman that do not play, was lodged at the county jail on four counts of recklessly endangering another person, discharging a firearm in the city, unlawful use of a weapon, and assault. She is being held on a $282,000. $500 bond. You know, I don't know why they released him, how, how he got released and they kept her. Or did he go in there and snitch mama out and she was the first one uh, shoot out? And this is what you got to watch out for in this day and age because, you know, it's not like the, it used to be where if you whoop somebody ass in your house or you whoop your kid ass and it's in your house, it could be anybody, a neighbor, family member, when nothing happened because it's your house. Now, all of a sudden, they done made up all these kind of laws where the person who's staying with you, damn, they just have much as power as you do. Remember that right there, because I'm pretty sure she told him to get the hell out. Because if, think about it, you're not going to go from eating Sunday dinner, you know, Sunday dinner, Thanksgiving, holidays, and then all of a sudden having shootouts with each other. No. So this this has been something building up just like a, a powder keg for a long time, you know. And what they say about pressure, pressure busts pipes. Mom probably couldn't take that shit no more, wanted this grown-ass boy out of the house, you know. And that's sometimes that you have to do with your children, you know what I'm saying? Just because... uh. Something comes from you, whether it's your, your son or your daughter, does not negate and necessarily mean that that person will love you, you know, even though you would want them to. You have to think about all that because we know we let emotions get in the, in, in the way. Now, what if the mom would let the emotions get in the way and let this man pretty much do what he wanted to do? Because I'm sure that was her house that happened at, just like the story says. So it's not like she was at his house. Now, why is he over there with his mom with this altercation going on? Because nine times out of ten... He stayed there, and if he didn't stay there, the story will say so. Now, police began investigating the shooting just before 8.30 p.m., November 22nd, in the 10 uh, 1050 block of Northeast Davis Street. 
near Wilson's home. There, police found a Toyota Corolla and Chevrolet truck with several bullet holes through it. Appears the cars were not targeted as, as part of the shooting, police say. So they found the vehicles with bullet holes at Miss Altrina Renee Wilson home, his mom home. It was her house, you know, her vehicles. The son was just there. Then notice what they said. He's a convicted felon. He's a convicted felon. Not saying nothing to nobody. You know, no offense to anybody that's a convicted felon because we all done got in some trouble with misdemeanors or felonies or some of y'all on probation parole right now house arrest who cares none of my business but i'm saying this right here by him being a convicted felon only only proves one thing that he was already involved in some kind of criminal activity which means that his jobs are limited okay put two and two together let's get four if you get five or seven let's come back and do this math over again but for now put two and two together let's get four now if he's having all these difficulties getting dropped getting jobs and he's a convicted felon and he's still with firearms what that tells you automatically that he's also with the what what we call the bullshit you know what i'm saying so he's also with the bs you know mom probably grew tired of him living off of him talking to her any kind of way sitting all up in her couch smoking weed all up on her couch who knows what was going on because he damn sure wasn't working because any respectable man would leave they would not sit there and have a shootout with their mom but i'm sure she probably threatened his ass like a lot of mothers are threatened now i told you once before you know you're gonna get your ass out of my house that's just how they talk to her. i don't know how your house talk or whatever but where we where we from how, how, how i see my family do it that's how they talk you know I told you one time, you're going to get your ass about this house. If I, by the time I get from this bedroom back here, you better be out that door. And if you ain't out that door, pow, pow, pow. That's just the way it goes now. So, hey. A lot of you all will say, well, that's wrong. And it's also wrong for somebody coming there trying to take over your goddamn house. Am I right or wrong? Now, think about that also. Now, even though the story don't say that, you can pretty much read between the lines. And, and if some of you all can't, shame on you. Now, anyway, while responding to the reported shooting, police were told Wilson called 911 and told dispatchers she was involved in the shooting but was uninjured she called the people which means what nine times ten that's her damn house and she called the people to let them know the son being very disrespectful who's the, who's to say that he wasn't full of that what we call that that uh shit you know which means it could be drugs alcohol whatever that's just what we call that shit you know because you go out you'll spend 10 minutes just naming all, all the damn stuff substances that he could use so Nine times out of ten, he was on something or he's been on something. And you never know this day and age, especially then he's a full grown ass man. Why are you at your mama house at 36 years old? She's not a handicap. She's not blind when she have to have somebody's um, a living assistance, a roommate or something. So what are you there for? You know, you, you damn sure one day trying to help out and love her. And I don't know why a lot of grown ass people say, I'm, I'm trying to help my mama out. How are you trying to help your damn mama out and you ain't working three, four years and shit? Anyway, now. She reportedly explained that she'd been in an altercation of some kind with her son, Caldwell, who left the scene immediately after shooting. So he already fled. You know what I'm saying? If she done bust a shot in his ass, he had to go uh, to the hospital. Now, police were then told Caldwell had checked into an area hospital with a non-life-threatening gunshot wound to the ass. It don't say it to the ass, but I'm sure, pretty sure she shot him in the ass. She should have. If if she was going to shoot him, don't, I, I'm going to advise her to shoot him in the heart or the head. You know, don't 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 kill him. You know, just shoot him in the ass. Let him know it's real. Now, police continue to investigate a shooting. Anyone with information or willing to snitch about this incident is, is asked to call the Portland Police Non-Emergency Line at 503-823-3333. Uh, 3333. If you got any information lead to why they got into it. I'm not trying to laugh. I don't normally laugh at these videos, but man, what is the world coming to where you have sons and moms having shootouts and stuff? I don't know if you all ever seen this old cartoon or the movie Throw, Throw Mama from the Train, but it had the woman, the uh, crazy old Caucasian lady. And you know, she was very mean and she walked around with guns and she taught her sons them how to be criminals and stuff. Kind of like the same, the woman off the Goonies, the same one. You know, I'm pretty sure that this woman wasn't that type of woman. You know, because if she was number one, she wouldn't have called the police. If she was in the wrong, she wouldn't have call the police and true enough neither one of them should pull guns but who's to say who pulled the first gun first you know what a mom came in there probably waving a gun at him he probably picked up a gun and she shot him you know who's to say but why would it even come to that why do we need to even come to that that's why i want to hear from you all chime in and let me know what would you all have done for you parents and for for you people who ain't parents for you for you people who are sons and daughters you know and have parents that's still alive how would you would respond to that? You know, if that was you and your mom or dad, but this is a mom, how would you would, would respond to your parents if they would have came to you? And matter of fact, they shouldn't even have to come to you if you've grown, but just say if they came to you with 
some kind of dispute or something, how would you have handled that? Would you just left or would you argue with them? Or you would would you went and got your weapon, you know, took a chance on killing them or they take a chance of killing you? How would you all would have handled that? Because me personally, I would just got to, number one, I wouldn't be at my mama house. Number two, you know, I love her enough. As soon as I as soon as I see she's getting mad or her her, her voice rising, I'm leaving. You know, it's just it's just it's just a lot of ways you can prevent this type of stuff. And and to go that far proves that it ain't no love in that house. Just like that old song said, love don't live here anymore. Let me know what you all think. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like, subscribe. Till next time, y'all stay blessed. Love and respect your mom and your dad. You only get one. I'm out.